When you're ready, press spacebar and I will unpause the lesson. OK, we're looking here at the DCS F818 Hornet straight in approach and landing training mission. Being below 250 knots, go ahead and lower your landing gear and drop the flaps to full. Reduce your airspeed by setting the throttles to idle. You may also wish to extend your speed brake by using the speed brake switch on the right throttle grip or by pressing left shift B to get slower more quickly. Note the SPD BRK light on the instrument panel when the speed brake is extended. As you slow below 140 knots, retract the speed brake by using the speed brake switch or pressing left control B. Adjust the throttle and stick trim to maintain 8.1 degrees of angle of attack. Velocity vector inside the E bracket. Use the gates as a reference for your glide path by keeping the velocity vector in the center of the next gate. Okay, the first thing that we did was to reduce power to idle. That, of course, reduces lift, so the nose of the aircraft drops. We then have to maintain back pressure on the stick to maintain flight path through the gate. The first half of this training mission is really about getting the aircraft stable in level flight and on speed as you can see with the donut on the angle of attack indexer. The hardest part is probably the flap extension because yes we are drag but we also add momentary lift which is going to push the nose up we then push the nose down then and also we add a little bit of uh, speed brake use Below 200 knots we then add a significant amount of power because the aircraft is at that point going to want to drop as airspeed bleeds off and we therefore lose uh, a significant amount of lift and at that point we are then doing what we're doing here which is just maintaining the level of flight. We've adjusted pitch and power to get on speed as indicated by the donut and we are making small adjustments to maintain on speed angle of attack. At this point you should be on speed with an angle of attack of 8.1 degrees indicated by the velocity vector in the center of the E bracket on the hood. Use throttle input to adjust your glide path such that the E bracket is positioned over the runway threshold. Use pitch trim to keep on speed AOA. You should now be on a three degree glide path down the runway. At this point we are descending the glide slope toward the runway threshold. Small adjustments in order to maintain glide slope as we start to descend. The big objective of course is to maintain on speed angle of attack. That's the crucial thing here. The, the landing itself is going to be pretty hard but that is the nature of landing in the F-18 Hornet so small adjustments of pitch and power to maintain on speed angle of attack. Maintain on speed AOA and your glide path should be aligned with the runway threshold. As explained landing in the aircraft is going to be quite hard remember this aircraft is designed to hit a landing carrier deck quite hard so the landing gear is designed for a hard landing. This isn't a mistake, it's not a bad landing. This is just how you land the Hornet. Could be a little bit lighter perhaps, but still it's a perfectly good landing. And here we are on the final approach. Maintain on-speed AOA and fly the aircraft onto the runway with a vertical velocity of no more than 750 feet per minute, as displayed over the HUD altitude indication. Do not flare. Once the nose wheel comes down, use the rudder to keep the aircraft centered down the runway and use the wheel brakes to bring her to a halt. Maintaining velocity vector on the runway, trying to maintain center line. On-speed angle of attack, I just lose it fractionally at the end here. A little bit too fast, but a reasonable touchdown again. It's quite hard, but as I mentioned earlier, the Hornet's landing gear is designed not to flare, but to hit the runway hard. So, not a bad landing.
could have been better absolutely but it is not a bad landing hopefully you found that interesting and perhaps even found it useful and as always feel free to like comment and subscribe well done you can end the lesson now by pressing the escape key